Have you ever wondered if losing one sense can perhaps enhance another? Certain musical sensations like Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles make it easy to believe that this is true considering that both artists have lost their vision. Could it be that their other senses are enhanced as a result of their blindness? Or is this all a myth? Let us find out. It is commonly assumed that the improvement in the remaining senses is a result of learned behavior. In the absence of vision, blind people pay attention to auditory cues and learn how to use them more efficiently. But there is mounting evidence that people missing one sense don't enhance another sense. The brain adapts to the loss by giving itself a makeover. If one sense is lost, the areas of the brain normally devoted to handling that sensory information do not go in use. They get rewired and put to work, processing other senses. A recent study provides evidence of this rewiring in the brains of deaf people. The study shows people who are born deaf use areas of the brain typically devoted to processing sound instead of processing touch and vision. Perhaps more interestingly, the researchers found this neural reorganization affects how deaf individuals perceive sensory stimuli, making them susceptible to a perceptual illusion that hearing people do not experience. But how can this be? These new findings are part of the growing research on neuroplasticity, the ability of our brains to change with experience. A large body of evidence shows when the brain is deprived of input in one sensory modality, it is capable of reorganizing itself to support and augment other senses, a phenomenon known as cross-modal neuroplasticity. Now this is exciting news, but you may be wondering, why don't scientists just find a way to boost the ordinary senses of normal people? Why do we need to lose a sense before our other senses can get enhanced? Why can't we give a normal person supersonic hearing or 4K vision? Well, the neurons in our brains that are responsible for interpreting our senses keep other neurons in check, or simply, they inhibit one another. One plausible evolutionary explanation for this phenomenon is the fact that our brains value the diversity of information. 